Hi, my name is Hannah. I have a blog called callmehannah.ca. I write, I write about the environment and people who inspire me. This question is for Martin Sheen. My grandmother told me to address you as Mr. President. <laughs> my question is in two parts. Have you ever wanted to be the president? In a word, no. <laughs> Next question, please. And can you make a bigger change as a politician or an activist? That's a wonderful question. Boy, oh boy. How old are you? Nine. And what do you want to do when you get just a little older? I, I, um, I want to be an activist. Ah, I think you've chosen the better part. See, I think that uh, the people that have made the most important changes in not just our society but in the world have been people who were not politicians. In my own country in the 60s, of course, Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. who founded the Civil Rights Movement which led to the Civil Rights Act and a great measure of freedom was realized by a lot of our citizens that were considered second-class citizens until that act. And Reverend King never ever ran for public office. Uh, another example on the world stage is Mahatma Gandhi, who freed a nation without firing a shot. He never ran for a public office. And I think that the, the, the most effective uh, uh, change uh, that we, we, we recognize comes from people who are in, in a situation to suffer the most and, and have the most information on what is necessary. The people that are, are, are striving for clean water are very thirsty people. And very, it's a, it's a very necessary commodity which we just take for granted. So, uh, the the environment is, it, by and large, the one issue that unites us. And is that the sooner we get our heads out of the clouds about global warming and come to the reality, and we just got smashed on the east coast of the United States uh, just a week, uh, two weeks ago. So, uh, the environment is touching all of us in a profound way that will last forever. We do not live on this planet alone. We all inhabit the same future. Our children breathe the same air. And so we have to be uh, recognize that as the first priority. So that's a wonderful question. I would say be an activist and keep on keeping on. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. <laughs>